What if death wasn't the end? What if technology could defy the very laws of nature? From ancient myths to cutting edge AI, humanity's pursuit of immortality is closer than ever. But this dream comes with profound questions. Can artificial intelligence truly make us immortal? And if it can, should it? Join us as we dive deep into the science, ethics, and future of living forever. From the ancient myths of Gilgamesh to today's revolutionary AI technologies, humanity has always sought to outwit death. The dream of living forever has inspired legends, religions, and scientific quests alike. But today, we stand on the brink of a new era where artificial intelligence promises to make immortality more than a fantasy. Could we soon preserve our minds and machines, reverse aging, or even achieve biological immortality? In this video, we'll explore the technologies reshaping our understanding of life and death. From digital twins to ethical dilemmas, we'll uncover what it means to live forever in the age of AI. In 2020, a South Korean documentary shocked the world by enabling a grieving mother to reunite with her deceased daughter in virtual reality. While some praised it as a groundbreaking use of technology to aid grief, critics lambasted it as a disturbing commodification of loss, raising unsettling questions about how far we should go in digitally recreating the dead. For the mother, it was a deeply emotional experience, but it also reignited a global debate on the ethics of tampering with the boundaries of life and death. Now, companies like Deep Brain AI are pushing this further by creating a 3D digital replicas of loved ones enabling you to interact with the deceased as though they're on a video call. Imagine being able to share a conversation with a long-lost loved one, hearing their voice, and even seeing their expressions once again. As this tech evolves, real-time conversations with these digital avatars could become a reality, powered by platforms like ChatGPT. But is this a compassionate way to cope with loss, or does it risk exploiting grief? Let's explore both sides of the argument. Experts argue that grief is a deeply human experience that helps us come to terms with loss. While these technologies could offer solace, they might also prolong grief by keeping us emotionally tethered to the past. In extreme cases, they could even blur the line between memory and reality. For instance, some critics compare these digital representations to practices like spirit mediums or memento mori, ways to memorialize the dead that walk a fine line between reverence and intrusion. Others, however, see these tools as a natural evolution of how we remember loved ones, akin to photographs or videos, but more interactive and immersive. These illustrative stories, such as a father hypothetically using an AI-generated video of his late daughter to complete her unfinished book, or a widow consulting an avatar of her husband for parenting advice, demonstrate the potential benefits of digital grief tools. While these examples are not real, they are plausible scenarios based on current technological capabilities. They underscore the emotional complexity and ethical considerations of interacting with AI-generated representations of loved ones, pushing us to reflect on how these tools might reshape the grieving process and our connection to memory. Grief is a deeply human experience, and these technologies have the potential to transform the way we cope with loss. But could they also prolong grief, creating new emotional challenges? As we navigate this new frontier, we must ask, are we honoring memory or are we refusing to let go? While digital immortality focuses on preserving the mind, biological immortality tackles the body. Scientists are unlocking the secrets of aging, from genetic coding to cellular regeneration. Nature already offers clues. The immortal jellyfish can reset its life cycle, effectively starting over. Similarly, the hydra, a freshwater organism, exhibits an extraordinary ability to continuously regenerate itself. Hydras possess a unique population of stem cells that allow them to replace aging or damaged cells indefinitely, effectively making them biologically immortal under the right conditions. Researchers hope to harness similar processes for humans. Could we one day stop or even reverse aging by understanding and applying these natural mechanisms? Companies like Altos Labs and Calico are leading the charge by exploring cellular reprogramming, a technique that could rejuvenate aging cells. Unity Biotechnology, meanwhile, is working to combat age-related diseases by targeting senescent cells, the so-called zombie cells that accumulate as we grow older and contribute to aging. Another key player is BioViva, which focuses on gene therapies designed to halt or reverse the biological aging process. 
Additionally, Juvenescence is developing a range of products, from small molecules to AI-driven therapeutic solutions aimed at extending human lifespan. These companies, alongside startups like Turn Biotechnologies and Life Biosciences, are collectively pushing the boundaries of what's possible in the fight against aging. AI is playing a critical role here. It's analyzing vast data sets of genetic information to pinpoint the factors that cause aging. For example, Google's DeepMind has used its AlphaFold platform to map the structure of proteins, a crucial step in understanding how our bodies age at a molecular level. In Japan, researchers at Kyoto University are exploring ways to use induced pluripotent stem cells, iPSCs, to reverse aging. These cells, reprogrammed to their embryonic state, hold the potential to repair damaged tissues and regenerate organs. But with these breakthroughs come profound questions. If we can extend life, who gets access to these treatments? Will it widen the gap between the rich and poor? And what would an immortal society mean for our planet's resources, already stretched thin? Biological immortality may seem like the ultimate dream, but it's one that comes with its own set of ethical and logistical hurdles. Are we prepared for the societal changes this could bring? Imagine uploading your mind into a computer. This concept, known as mind uploading, could let us live on in digital form. It's a staple of science fiction, but researchers believe it may one day be possible. Projects like the Blue Brain Project aim to simulate the human brain down to the neural level, while initiatives at MIT's Media Lab explore preserving human memories and experiences digitally. In theory, this would involve scanning and mapping every neural connection in your brain, creating a digital representation of your consciousness that could live inside a computer or virtual environment. This digital self might interact with others, create new memories and even evolve. But would it truly feel alive or merely simulate life? Such advancements bring us closer to the possibility of preserving our essence, but they also challenge the very definitions of identity and existence. The philosophical challenges are immense. What defines identity and consciousness? Is a digital entity, even if it perfectly replicates your thoughts and behaviours, still you? This raises questions about continuity. Is the you that exists in the digital space truly the same as the one tied to a biological brain? Philosophers argue that such technologies might redefine what it means to be human, creating a rift between physical and digital existence. Would living as a digital entity offer infinite opportunities to learn, create and connect? Or would it devolve into an endless, stagnant loop without the constraints that give life urgency? Moreover, the impact on society could be profound. Would immortality lead to progress or stagnation? Without mortality, could humanity lose its drive to innovate and evolve? Ultimately, this potential blurs the line between a blessing and a curse, leaving the answer as much a personal question as a collective one. Transhumanism offers another path to immortality. It is a movement that advocates for the use of technology to fundamentally enhance the human condition, merging humans with machines to transcend biological limitations. Brain implants like Neuralink, developed by Elon Musk's company, promise enhanced cognition, memory preservation, and even direct communication with AI systems. Could this be the key to achieving immortality while retaining our humanity? But Neuralink is just the beginning. Synchron, another company, is developing minimally invasive brain-computer interfaces to help restore mobility and communication for paralysed patients. Meanwhile, Open Bionics has created advanced robotic prosthetics that integrate seamlessly with the human nervous system, offering enhanced physical capabilities. Beyond physical enhancements, transhumanist concepts extend to genetic engineering, where companies like CRISPR Therapeutics are using gene editing technologies to eliminate hereditary diseases and potentially enhance human abilities. Additionally, initiatives such as Hanson Robotics are working on humanoid robots and synthetic beings that could one day integrate human consciousness. As the line between human and machine continues to blur, transhumanism presents profound questions. At what point do we stop being human? How much of our original selves can we replace before we've transformed into something entirely new? And is this transformation a path to progress or to losing the essence of our humanity? The pursuit of immortality raises profound ethical dilemmas. If eternal life becomes a luxury for the wealthy, 
Could it deepen societal divides, creating a world where only a privileged few enjoy eternal life while the majority remain mortal? Such disparities could exacerbate existing inequalities, turning immortality into a tool of oppression. Furthermore, how would an immortal population strain our planet's resources? Overcrowding, food shortages, and environmental degradation could spiral out of control as natural population cycles cease. Entire industries, from housing to healthcare, would need to be reimagined. Philosophers warn that immortality might strip life of its urgency and meaning, potentially leading to existential stagnation. Would humanity continue to innovate and progress? Or would immortality freeze us in a state of perpetual inertia, unable to fully appreciate the value of a finite existence? These challenges force us to question whether immortality would ultimately be a blessing or a curse. There's also the question of emotional toll. If death becomes optional, what happens to the meaning of life itself? Philosophers like Martin Heidegger argue that mortality gives life urgency and depth. Without an end, the experiences we cherish might lose their value. Existentialist thinkers caution that the infinite repetition of life could lead to ennui or a paralyzing stagnation. Immortality might also amplify existential dread. Without the closure of death, individuals could grapple with an unending search for purpose in a world without natural cycles. Conversely, others like transhumanist advocates see the potential for endless growth, learning and fulfillment. The ultimate impact of immortality then hinges on how humanity adapts emotionally and spiritually to a life unbounded by time. As we near the end of this journey into the possibilities of AI-driven immortality, we are left with as many questions as answers. The merging of technology and humanity promises a future filled with hope, innovation and ethical challenges. Will these advances bring humanity closer to enlightenment or create a new Pandora's box of unforeseen consequences? The road ahead is uncharted and it will be up to all of us to decide how far we're willing to go in the pursuit of eternity. Throughout this journey, we've explored the promise and the perils of AI-driven immortality. From digital twins and mind uploading to biological immortality and transhumanism, each path forces us to confront profound questions. What defines life? What gives it meaning? And what are we willing to trade for eternity? Philosophers warn that immortality might strip life of its urgency, yet others see it as a gateway to boundless growth and learning. Technological pioneers are racing toward a future where death could become a choice, but at what societal and spiritual cost? Could the gift of immortality unite us in shared progress or divide us even further in inequality? As humanity ventures into this uncharted frontier, one thing is certain, the choices we make now will echo for generations. Will we wield these tools with wisdom or will we succumb to their unintended consequences? The answer lies not just in technology, but in us. What do you think? Should humanity embrace immortality or are we tampering with forces beyond our control? Join the conversation by sharing your thoughts in the comments. And if you found this journey into the future of AI as thought-provoking as we did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more explorations of humanity's boldest questions.